You want a story? Okay. Let's see if that'll read you one. Here we go. Are you ready for story time? Let's see what story we have here. What story do you have, Pinky's dad? Well, we're going to read the story of Ugly Puss by Caroline Gregory. Mm -hmm. I think. Marty's heart was beating hard with excitement. His father had promised him a real surprise. What if it were a dog? A cute, lovable puppy. Marty had been dreaming of one for the longest time. Look at this, Miko. Look at all those bones on the wallpaper. And all of his little stuffed animals. Look, they're doggies. The next day, Marty's father came to pick him up after school. What's that in the car? Marty asked. That's your dog, his father answered. My dog? Marty couldn't believe it. This wasn't a cute little puppy that he had dreamed of. This dog was, well, ugly. His heart sank. Just look at how friendly he is, his dad began. Who cares, said Marty. If he could have a good dog, if he couldn't have a good dog, he didn't want a dog at all. Check out his tail. It looks like a fire hose. That's his tail. It goes off the page, Miko. That's kind of not right. <laughs> and his head, it looks like some kind of weird vegetable. Marty was whining now, but he couldn't help it. He is so ugly, Marty announced. I'm going to call him Ugly Puss. And he did. Back at home, Marty moved Ugly P Puss's basket as far as possible away from his bed. Hey, you got a friend that came to listen with you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Got Artie. At breakfast the next day, there was Ugly Puss alongside Marty. There's no way my friends are going to see me with this freaky dog, he said to himself. If you think you're going to school with me, you're wrong, Marty told him. The last thing I want is everybody laughing in my face. Marty slammed the door behind him as he left. Ugly Puss watched him, his eyes full of tears. Oh, he's crying. Little doggy has a bone in his backpack. But if you think that's the end of a dog like Ugly Puss, you're wrong. He knows a trick or two. This is... Hey guys, stop fighting during the story. Hey, can't we all just get along? Hardy, come listen. Okay, keep going. Ugly Puss followed Marty all the way to school. As soon as Marty's classmates saw Ugly Puss's face in the window, they all burst out laughing. Marty felt like crawling into a hole. Look, his face is all red. And there's his dog at the window with his little bones sticking out of his backpack. <laughs> After school, Marty's friends were on the lookout. Get a load of that tail. You don't even need a leash to walk him. Hey, Marty, why don't you make hot dogs out of your dog? Where'd you ever find that monster anyway? Marty, are you listening? At home, Marty was feeling mortified. He was also feeling sad. Don't worry, his mother said. Your friends will end up liking Ugly Puss. He's such a nice little dog. Marty wasn't so sure. 
Every day was the same. Loyal, ugly puss never left his master for a minute. Even the neighborhood dogs thought ugly puss was too ugly to play with. Marty could hardly wait to go to camp for the summer. This is ugly puss running away from the neighborhood dogs being walked. I'm going far away, ugly puss, he said, and this time you won't be able to find me. But as we know, this dog knows a trick or two. Abandon his master? Never. Do you see ugly puss in this picture? Uh, he's over here. There he is. So these were pictures from camp. There's uh, there's his legs. There's Marty's legs, and there's Ugly Puss in a bathing suit or a towel. There he is eating an ice cream ice cream cone at camp, and there's Ugly Puss just waiting for something to drip off of that ice cream cone. Dear Mom and Dad, having a great time. I get to eat ice cream. I'm learning to swim in the pool with my plastic duck. The only problem is that that dog, he sticks like glue. There's Marty swimming with a little plastic duck. And there is, hard, there is uh, Ugly Puss. Every day was the same. Ugly Puss never left Marty's side, not for a minute. I hate you, ugly puss, he cried. I'm going for a walk all by myself, and you're not following me. Maybe for once your tail will come in handy. Marty wrapped, said as he wrapped ugly puss's tail around the post. He tied knots in his tail. That's not a good thing to do to your pet. Marty went away, skipping and singing, free at last, free at last. I am Martin without his dog, and I can dance on one foot, and I'm not afraid of anything, he sang. I didn't quite make that into a song, but okay. <laughs> there he was, dancing along. But all of a sudden, Marty slipped and fell into the swimming pool. There was no plastic duck to help. Help, he cried. Help, help. I'm drowning. Ugly Puss heard Marty's cries. Ugly Puss heard Marty's cries. He struggled frantically to free himself. At last he succeeded. He was like, whoop, 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 whoop. He was all tied around this pole and he ran as fast as he could. In fact, he ran like a greyhound. He reached the pool. Ugly Puss tossed his long tail to Marty and pulled and pulled. Ugly Puss was a hero. Marty was saved. Yay, Marty. Yay, Ugly Puss. <laughs> that night, Ugly Puss was a happy dog. Maybe the happiest dog in all creation. That night, Marty was happy, too. I love you, ugly puss, he said. You are the best dog in the world. Mm -hmm. And there's a little picture that Marty drew of ugly puss's dog. What a nice story. You think so? The end. Yeah. And the end, it turned out good, but mm -hmm. the first day was kind of sad. Yeah. I don't think pets like it when we call them bad names. <laughs> mm. Like ugly. Did you like that story? Huh? There's something lovable about each pet. Mm.